The Minister of Police Affairs has raised concerns regarding the lack of information sharing among Nigeria's security agencies, noting that the independent operation of these agencies, particularly in handling classified intelligence, has hampered efforts to address the nation's security issues effectively. Speaking at a workshop on interagency collaboration in Abuja, he advocated for adopting a coordinated approach, suggesting the implementation of a system akin to the West African Police Information System, which promotes seamless intelligence exchange among police force across West Africa. He believes that a similar system would strengthen Nigeria's security framework and enhance the country's capacity to combat internal threat. As a ministry, our mandate is clear to provide strategic direction, oversight, and support to ensure a professional, efficient, and accountable police force. Today, we stand at a crossroad where traditional silos of operation must be dismantled. The imperative for a cohesive approach is clear. We must share information seamlessly, coordinate our efforts, and enhance the strength of our respective agencies. I therefore urge each of you to engage actively in this discussion, share your experiences, insights, and challenges. By learning from one another, we can identify innovative solutions that address the unique needs of the community while promoting a unified response to crime and insecurity. As we embark on this journey together, I'm confident that the outcomes of our deliberations will lead to actionable frameworks that will not only enhance our operational efficiency, but also foster public trust in our institutions. The Inspector General of Police, represented by Deputy Inspector General of Police, also underscored the importance of information sharing in tackling security threats. He emphasized that mutual trust and a commitment to both sharing and receiving intelligence are essential for effective crime prevention, investigation, and prosecution, reinforcing that collaboration among law enforcement agencies is by vital for maintaining public safety. The importance of information sharing among security agencies cannot be overemphasized as it is a very crucial aspect of our collective efforts to combat crime and ensure safety. Effective information sharing is the lifeblood of our efforts to prevent, investigate, and prosecute crimes. It enables us to identify patterns and anticipate potential threats. When we share information, we multiply our strengths and minimize our weaknesses. We create a web of knowledge that is far more powerful than the sum of our individual efforts. We must acknowledge the pressing need for improved collaboration among our agencies as the challenges we face are multifaceted and demand a unified, a unified response. As law enforcement professionals and stakeholders in the criminal justice sector, we acknowledge that the safety and security of our communities rely heavily on the effective and timely exchange of critical information. As the Inspector General of Police, I'm committed to ensuring that our agencies are equipped with the necessary tools and resources to share information effectively and efficiently. I invite each and every one of you to join me in this effort. Let us collectively break down the silos and barriers that hinder our progress and leverage the power of information to make our communities better, secured, and more resilient. FRS is partnering with ECOWAS through the West African Road Safety Organization, WASO, to work on the adoption of a uniform licensing scheme called Regional Vehicle Administration and Information System, RVAIs. The initiative is geared towards having a common driver's license, vehicle number plates, and documentations, enforcement of traffic infractions, and generation of critical data across West Africa. The scheme, when fully implemented, will promote seamless vehicle registration in West Africa, enhance free movement of vehicles, persons, goods, and services as enshrined in the ECOWAS protocol on free movement. It will also prevent multiple registration and assist in reducing vehicle theft within the ECOWAS subregion. 
FRSC under the auspices of ECOWAS is working towards partnering with members of WASO to develop digital number plates and motor vehicles particulars with installation of solid acrylic that is weather resistance in vehicles. This initiative aims to link national driver's license to owner's bank account, details which will not only serve as, debt, as debit card, but is in line with the FRS's grant strategy to partner the banking sector in enhancing highway enforcement.